My name is Pam Moultrie and I am your art instructor for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be working on an abstract acrylic on canvas painting, okay? And we're going to be using acrylic paints, water, and black magic markers, okay? So again, thank you for joining me and let's get started, all right? So let me tell you what you're going to need. You're going to need a canvas. All right, I have, I think this is an 11 by 14 canvas that, you know, you get from, you know, most craft stores. All right, today, as far as a paintbrush, you're going to need a three quarter inch flat. All right, you're also going to need, um, I have magic markers. I have black magic markers of all different tip sizes. Okay, so I have the regular tip here. Okay. And I also have my angled tip. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Yeah, the angled tip. And I also have my fine tip black magic marker. Okay. And so these are going to be, after we get the design, the abstract design on the canvas, we're going to use the black magic markers to give us the outline. Okay. How about that? Now, what else are you going to need? I'll tell you. You're going to need a paint palette. So if you don't have an artist paint palette, you can tell I kind of really use mine a lot. <laughs> but if you don't have a paint palette, you can use a plastic plate or a paper plate. Um, you could, if you have an old lid, a uh, food storage lid that you don't use anymore, you know, anything in your home that, you know, you're, you'll be okay with the fact that it's probably going to have paint on it, you know, from here on out. Uh, so, and it won't absorb the paint. All right, so be sure that it's something that's not going to absorb the paint. All right, so that's for to hold the paint. You're also going to need uh, a, well, this is called a brush basin, okay? I don't know if you can see that. I've used this quite often also. And this is where you rinse your brushes, all right? So if you don't have one of these at home, that's okay. If you have a tin can, okay, I love to reuse, repurpose. So a tin can that you got your vegetables out of. Okay, we're all home now. Um, or just a regular cup. But again, something that you won't mind the fact that you've had the paint in it and you're not going to use it again to eat out of it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, and today we're going to be working with magenta and lime green. I just think that these two colors together are going to be absolutely amazing. So... I think that that's all of the supplies that we're going to need today. So let's get started. So with the with the flathead paintbrush, okay, what you're going to want to do is you're going to use some of your water that you have okay and just you know get a little bit of water oh i'm sorry also what you're going to need you're also going to need a paper towel or um i have my artist towel here that i always use okay and so you want to take some of that the paint and so you want to wet your brush and just dip it into the paint okay and then you just want to get started. And what you want to do, you just want to kind of smush it around a little bit. Okay. You can go as light or as dark as you want. All right. And again, this is an abstract. So, and if it's, if it starts to be um, too dark, you want it a little bit lighter, dip your paintbrush in the water again. Okay. Dip it in there, smush it around, okay, all right, okay. and I'm using mine paints that I want. I want it light in some areas. And if it starts to run, don't worry about it. That's part of the fun. 
and I'm going at an angle because of the design that I'm going to do. I'm going to end up doing a flower actually, okay? And so that's why the green is down at the bottom, all right? And then I'm just going to go ahead and rinse. Tap it a little bit and I'm going to go into the magenta here, okay? And the magenta I'm going to have up at the top and coming down. Oh, look at that. I love these two colors together. Oh yeah, that's going to be nice. That is going to be so nice. All right, and with the brush, you're just kind of smushing. You're not really, you're not really stroking. Okay, <laughs> just kind of smushing, keeping it as abstract as possible. A little bit too much. It's a little too concentrated here. So I'm going to just add a little water. Just move it around, all right? And I'm going to bring it down into the green. That's going to, when you add it into the green, it's going to give it a nice contrast. So, I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me move that around a little bit. So that, that way, maybe you can see it a little better. I'm going to have to leave it at that. Okay, I tell you what. All right. So, and again, don't worry about it. You see how it's running into it here? Can you tell that it's running into it? This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take my brush with the green and it just adds a little bit more depth to it, a little different color to it, okay? You just want to keep playing with it and playing with it and playing with it. Okay. Add a little bit more water. There we go. Yeah, I'm like I'm loving this. Okay. So what's going to end up happening? All of this is going to come together. I think I'm going to go back down here with the green again. Okay. And I didn't even rinse my brush off. No, I didn't. I really want for these colors to kind of come together and support one another. So I'm going to go back in here with the yellow. I mean, with the magenta. Oh, yeah. See, that's giving me kind of a muddy color there. Okay. So we're going to blend that together. Okay. Now, we're almost there where I'm happy with it being together. Almost happy. Yeah, let's, let's make this corner up here a little bit more magenta and bring, <coughs> excuse me, bring some of that down. Add a little more water just to blend the two together. Okay, and just push it around, push it around, and again, it's an abstract, so it's okay. Add some of that green in there with the magenta, it's going to give you kind of a brown color. Come back down, okay, now, oh, look at that, look how it's running here. That is fabulous. When it runs like that, it's even better, okay? Because that's what we want. We want some blending of the two colors. I want for it to run a little bit. If it's running too much, just gently tap it, okay? And blend it, distribute it in a different area, okay? All right. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go a little bit stronger on the magenta, okay? Watch this. Okay, so we're gonna go, ooh, that really ran down in there, but that's a good thing because now I wanna go, like I said, a little heavier on 
magenta. And I want to, almost as if I've had too much coffee. And I want to make, remember I said I was going to make, I'm making a flower, okay, an abstract flower, all right? So I'm just going to go in, almost, again, almost as if your hand has a little bit too much coffee today. <laughs> and for some of us, it's probably what it is. We've had a little bit too much coffee, all right? And just go in a different area and make that flower. You see? Yeah. And you can always go back in. I love how it's just kind of falling down there because then after we get as many petals as it is, I think I want one that kind of goes down. How about that? Yeah, into the green. And again, just have fun with it. There you go, okay? Now, I am gonna clean my brush this time, okay? And I'm gonna go into the green, okay? And I'm gonna make my stem. Oh, look at that. Look at that, can you see it? Yeah, and I'm gonna give myself some leaves. We'll just go a little bit darker. You don't have to dilute it at all because your canvas is already still damp. And you just want to, you want the illusion of the leaf, okay? Okay. And I think I'm gonna go in and give it some color with the magenta in there. You see that? Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go up inside of the petal here and give a little bit of that green. Okay, just a little bit of the green, especially down towards the base there. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. I love it when my mistakes end up being pretty. <laughs> okay, so now, this is where I am, okay? And I'm not sure, can you see that? I'm really loving that. Now, this is wet, so I'm gonna have to, you know, let it dry a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's still wet, okay? And I have a smaller one here that I've done earlier, Oops. okay? So it's a smaller one, I've done it earlier, okay? I'm gonna put it up there. And again, this is a, an acrylic sheet. And I'm gonna start with my fine tip. I think we're gonna start with the fine tip, okay? I'm just gonna go in with light strokes. See? You don't have to do the whole leaf. Yeah. All right. And then with the petals, okay, you just want to go in wherever it is up here at the top or wherever it is that you want to draw a petal and just keep it light. Fun and airy. You don't have to do the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. You're just kind of making it your own. Okay. And just follow what it is that you did with the brush. Oh, yeah. See that? We're just making it into our abstract. Right? Oh, yeah. Whatever it is that you want to do with it, have fun with it. Okay? Just have fun with it. All right. So now I'm going to come back in 
with my darker magic marker right here. Right in here. Just in certain areas and just make it a little bit darker. Again, I'm not doing the whole thing. Just wherever it is, you know, I want to kind of take the eye. Yeah. Soft strokes. Okay. As you see, the more you kind of play with it, the more it starts to come to life. Just have fun with it. Yeah, just like that. See that? And so just play with it a little more. And the more you play with it, the more it will come your own. So, thank you so much for joining me today. And again, this is our abstract on canvas. Oh, wait a minute, one other thing. You're never finished with your artwork until what? You sign your name. Thank you for joining me. Till next time, guys. Do art. Be happy. <laughs>